Good morning. Whew, another beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Running quick here between rain squalls. So, hey, I just quick message this year, 2021. It's going to all be all about investing in you. We spend so much time and energy being taught by all the so-called gurus about what to invest time and money in. But usually when we talk about investment, we're just talking about investing dollars. But I want to talk to you about what's the most important thing is investing in you. <clears throat> you can invest all the money you want into whatever asset class you choose to. But at the end of the day, the, thing's gonna, the thing that will always give you the ultimate and best return is investing in yourself. Now, I always hear... Hey, you always say that, but how the hell do you do it? Listen, I don't want to make this too complicated, but it's really quite simple. I do uh, head to toe uh, check in, and really, it's quite simple. Look in the mirror and look at your head, look at your face, look at your teeth, look at your body naked. And that may scare some of you. I know it did for me for a lot of years. But then I want you to go internal and then external, right? So, like I said, just start at the top. If you got jacked up hair, do something about it. Listen, you were given whatever you were given. You know, I got uh, really weird, short uh, cowlicks all over the place, duck hair, if you want to call it. Uh, so I just found that for me, high and tight is the way to go. And that's the best I found. I went to uh, a professional to find that out. And I recommend you doing the same thing. You know, there's, there is a, basically a kind of a science behind how your hair looks with, relative to the size and shape of your face and find the best cut for you. Move down a little bit, look at your skin. Has your skin got acne? Is it dry? Is it sagging? Is it doing whatever it's doing? Uh, there's a fix for it, whatever it is. Maybe you don't have the right nutrition, the right hydration. Uh, maybe too much sun, not enough sun. There's a solution. Figure out the solution. Move to your teeth. I had I had jacked up teeth for a lot of years. I was born without nine permanent teeth, uh, and that bothered me forever. I didn't. I would. I would never commit to smiling, right? And I think that maybe put a lot of people off. It was a little, uh, definitely insecurity in my part. So took me a lot of years to develop the income and the position to get my teeth fixed. But if I would have known, <clears throat> a lot of guy that lives in regrets, but if I'd have known how important it was to just smile, right, at communication with your face on how that would attract people to me instead of repel, and it wasn't just because I had nice teeth and I could smile, it was how I felt about myself when I did those things or was confident in smiling that actually would attract the people. So, you know, keep moving down. Uh, you know, what does your body type look like? Are you lean? Are you fat? Ooh, I know I said the fat word. I've been fat. I've been battling it my whole life. And I found that fat is not just a function of uh, garbage in, garbage out. It's not just a function of nutrition. It's a function of emotional health. You know, I had a lot of trauma in my past and just a lot of shit that I didn't deal with. And I felt found over the years that, and discovered uh, through science that so much of the body type and the structure that I maintained over all these years was really a function of my past trauma and what it drove me to do with my addictions and a variety of other things that ultimately drove me to eat, uh, to not exercise properly, not take care of myself properly, and then put me in the condition that uh, is the condition that I always didn't want in my life. So we got to be careful about what we're working on, making sure that we're getting the right information, especially for your own body type, right? Uh, and you just keep moving down the body. Am I strong? Am I skinny fat? What am I? What do I want to be? You know, this is the year to invest in you. Stop investing into a bunch of bullshit 401ks and stock markets and things you know nothing about. And if you do, then fantastic, make lots of money, but then go pay to go get the right information to take care of you, to put you in the best position 
that you've ever been in to win, right? I mean, listen, I coined this phrase years ago. If you don't feel something, you won't do anything, okay? So I want you to make sure that you're feeling the right way. And if you're not feeling the right way, are those feelings driving you to go do something positive for yourself or negative for yourself? Ask yourself, am I winning today? And if you're not, it's because you're not investing in you. You know, it's amazing. All the professional athletes are professional and they stay professional and they stay in the leagues and the big show for lots and lots of years, not because they have one coach that coaches them as a head coach and a strategist for their whole team, but they have very specific individual coaches, nutritional coaches, physical training coaches, emotional coaches, spiritual coaches. It just goes on and on, on down the list. <clears throat> and why do they do that? Because they know that they're the million dollar racehorse, if you will. They're the ones that uh, they're investing in themselves because they are the show. They are the way that they are going to make it in their life is consistently investing in them, getting the right people, getting the right information at the right time for them to win. So <clears throat> once we get once we get our body type looked at and uh, whatever condition that you're in, you need to get the right people in your life that can take care of and help you uh, help you invest in you in the right places. Then you're going to get yourself uh, some type of, you know, clothing, some exterior wear based on who it is that you are and what you're trying to do in your life, right? Again, this is an investment in you. How you feel matters, okay? How you feel matters. And you're never going to get the greatest gifts in your life if you're not feeling good, if you're not feeling good about yourself. You're not going to invest in other people. You're not going to put the time and energy into yourself if you're not feeling good. So this investing in yourself is the most critical thing that you can do for you. And we're going to get it done this year. 2021 is going to be your year. So let's let's commit together that we're going to consistently invest in ourselves all year long to get the results that we want. So let's go get them.